the cocoa channel i hope you guys are having a great day as you guys can see from the title of this video kylie is back at it again with another collab this collab is featuring her sister chloe now you guys know chloe did come out a few months ago with a with another lip um, collection it was called the coco collection well now she has another drop of the coco collection which is kind of called in love with the coco i'm in love with the coco so for this launch she has four shades of liquid lipsticks and a, a and a powdered uh face palette um which includes like a blush a bronzer and two highlighters okay guys so this is what came in the box um i'm gonna hold this down so it wouldn't fall but it did <laughs> So uh, this is the uh, packaging for the liquid lipsticks. It has four liquid li liquid lipsticks, um, and then next is her powder pressed face palette, which is really cute. I love the packaging, and it also comes with a little card, and it has like a little message. Um, it just says. Hey my loves, I'm so excited to share my second Coco collection with you. The first collection did incredible because of you all. I can't wait for you to try our newest collab. I loved working on these shades. Enjoy my beauties. And you get her autograph or her signature, I guess. Does anybody, um, do you guys keep these or do you guys throw them away? Let me know in the comment section down below. I kind of keep these. I basically throw away the boxes and I just collect all like the, the shades but I do keep these because it kind of has their autograph on it like Kylie's, I have Kim's, I have a whole bunch of I have two now for Chloe. I kind of keep them, it, it's cool so if you guys do that let me know in the comment section down below. Okay so we are going to start off with the palette. Now the palette has four shades like I mentioned, Rodeo Drive, Troop Beverly Hills 90210 Hollywood Boulevard and for all of you guys obviously you guys should know that all of these names are are like our street names basically town names of California like Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive Hollywood Boulevard it's a street name for those of you that don't know now you know so let's go ahead and uh, open this up so okay I like the white and gold it's really pretty so this is the first time I'm opening this. I haven't even like swatched it yet. Ooh, it's gold. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, let's pop this open. Now this is what it looks like. I am super, super happy this didn't come broken. I was praying that it would not come broken because I bought a, um, a palette, an eyeshadow palette from, from Kylie. Um, it was her Valentine's Day collection and one of the shades came totally smashed and I was so upset and I had to like break it down, fix it just to make like a tutorial for it so it wouldn't like crumble as soon as I opened up my palette but Kylie Cosmetics they were super nice and they sent me a replacement. So now I have like two of those um, eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, anyways this is what it looks like. I will show you a close up now. Let's try out the blush. We're going to use a highlighter, one of these highlighters. One's like a champagne color. One kind of has like a golden bronzy shimmer. And this is the bronzer. So let's try these out. So on my face, I have my eyeshadow. Of course, my eyes are done. Um, the only thing I have on my face is contour using cream and foundation. I do not have any powder contour on. And, wait a minute, if you guys say, wait, look, your cheeks, they look contoured. Do you know what I did? I tried this new t t technique called reverse contour. 
basically what that is is you basically instead of putting on your foundation first and then doing highlight and contour whether you use cream uh, cream um, creams or like you know you use powders what I did was I did not use foundation first this is why it's called reverse foundation reverse contour um, basically what I did was I started off with cream contour I highlighted you know the lighter areas underneath my eyes my you know my forehead my uh, the side of my uh, jawline right here underneath my contour um, I did my nose a little bit and then I took a darker shade for the contour shade and I obviously using all cream and I basically just uh, you know did my contour nose forehead cheeks jawline I did all of that and what I did was I did not blend it out what I did was I slightly with a beauty blender kind of dabbed in um, dabbed it in a little bit I did not blend it all the way and I took foundation and I put it on top of the beauty blender so basically this is the outcome that I got a naturally contoured look this is reverse contouring so if you guys are super interested and you want to know how to do reverse contouring um, let me know in the comment section down below or if you follow me on any of my social medias my snapchat Instagram or what else do I have Twitter yes um, let me know on any one of those and I will surely uh, put up a video for you guys okay so I'm gonna start with the bronzer first the name of the bronzer is called Hollywood Hollywood Boulevard so let me swatch it first Ooh, you guys can see. It's pigmented. It's it's coming out. Okay. So let's see. Ooh. Okay. With literally one swipe of my brush, it picked up a lot of color. Um. Let's go ahead and. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, it's really pigmented, you guys. I kind of want to, I kind of don't want to put too much on because this, it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Um, and basically, um, for contouring, a bronzer or a contour powder that has shimmer in it is not good for contour. It's basically good for just overall bronzer, um, because basically, you guys know the rule, contouring, you're kind of hiding features that you don't want, you know, people to, to see. Like, if you have a big nose, you contour and make it look smaller. You know, that's what dark colored contouring is for. Anything with a shimmer, like a shimmer, is basically to highlight those features like your cheekbones your um you know right underneath your brow bone your cupid's bow that's what you highlight to bring those features forward so with a bronzer with a bronzer that has a little bit of shimmer in it you're doing the opposite effect you're making it kind of stand out you're, you're going to be making your cheekbones stand out instead of you know looking not stand out you, you guys know what i mean i can't talk today it's a long day. It's been a long day for me. So just so you know, with my skin tone, I am a medium skin tone. Um, I'm not fair skinned or anything like that, obviously. Um, just so you guys know, if you guys have MAC foundations, um, I am a, N, um, I am a N, NC or NW25 uh, um, in my foundation shade. So you guys can see, if you guys are lighter, a lighter shade, like fair skinned, you know, Caucasian skin tone, um, this will look a little darker. The, the bronzer will look a bit darker on you. Like Kylie, I'm sure this looks darker on her. It shows up compared to like, you know, the white part right here and this. It does show up, but just not that much. I'm not trying to put that much on because I don't want it to look muddy. But there you go. Warm up my face. Cool. Okay, let's move on to the blush. 
Um, the blush is called Rodeo Drive, and it's kind of like a corally pink shade. Okay. So it's like this. You guys, it's pigmented. Oh, wow! I like it. It reminds me of um, this shade, Rodeo Drive, the blush shade. It reminds me of a color that she had that Kylie had in her um, eyeshadow palette for her Valentine's Day collection. Let's move on to the highlighters. I am using these two shades. If you see me looking down, I'm trying to see what the names of the shades are. Um, True Beverly Hills and Hollywood Boulevard. We're going to start with this one right here. Let's see. Oh, it comes out pigmented, you guys. One's gold, one's like champagne. I'm going to use, use my hand first. Kind of mixed. Oh wow! I can see the highlight. Use my brush. Mmm, it's pigmented, you guys. I wonder how this would look wet. Highlight my nose. Can you guys see that highlight? Oh, it's so cute. Use this to highlight my inner corner. Loving the color so far. Oh wow, okay. So basically I used both of the colors to do my highlight and I think it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It kind of uh, reminds me of uh, the highlighters, um, five different shades of highlighters that she has. Okay. So yeah guys, this was her face palette. Which is pretty cool. Um, this face palette was being sold. Actually, the whole, let me tell you guys. Both of these were actually sold separate. So it wasn't a complete bundle. They were both $40 each. But there was a, a bundle deal. You could get both of these for $75. Which, Kylie, what the fuck? Like... Excuse my language, like what the hell, like that doesn't even make sense. You save $5 if you, get a, if you get a bundle and if you purchase these individually, it's $80. $40 for this, $40 for this. Save $5, get a bundle, big whoop. But yeah, my overall is pretty cool. Um, what I would say about these are pigmented. I love the, I love the finish of the blush. Highlighters are pretty cool. I love the packaging. The packaging just gets me. And I basically bought this, you know, kind of, it's kind of like a collect, you know, collector's item now since I have a big collection of makeup. I was like, you know, I have the first Kylie, you know, I'm sorry, the first, you know, the Coco collection. Why not get the second? And this one comes with the palette. So, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the lip palette. Okay guys, here is the Coco Collection, In Love with the Coco. I can hear the song playing in my head. Um, here is the Lip Collection. It comes with four different shades. I will enter a close-up right now. So it has also the white packaging with uh, the rose gold kind of, and it has rose gold, you know, behind it. So it's kind of, my camera is not picking up um, the colors, but basically I have um, four of, you know, the first lipsticks that she came out with, and they're basically the same exact 
thing. So if you guys want to see a review on the first four colors that she had, Gorge, Damn Gina, Ochre, Clove Money. Um, I will post a link to that video uh, in my description box down below. So basically, um, let's take this out. Let's take this out and let's begin swatching. I'm gonna take all these out just like this, so they're they're gonna be in a different order. See the gold backing? That's why you really can't tell, you know, the colors. You can see the color. This is just these are the four new ones, and these are the four old ones that she came out with. Same packaging. I wish they were different so I can know like these four were the first ones that had you know bomb ass shades like Gorge and Ochre, a beautiful pink shade and these are the four new ones so I can have so I know which ones are which and I don't have to keep picking them up and seeing which one is which you know within my little um, lip gloss holder that I have. Okay. Let's move on to swatching. And this is the part that I am excited for and I'm also a little iffy about. You guys know that these colors are super, super matte. They dry. They're long wearing. Um, the only issue is I'm swatching them and oh my god, it takes forever to take these lipsticks off and I'm going to be trying four of them. So oh my god, God bless me. Oh my God, help Jesus. Let's try this. So to make things easier on myself, I'm gonna start with the lightest shades and move on to the darker shades because if I start with the darker shades first, even though those are like the prettiest ones that I would be, you know, picking up the most, um, they're gonna take a while for um, to take off and they will stain my lips so like the lighter shades won't look will look the colors you know you guys won't be able to get like the actual color like you know you guys won't be able to see the actual colors I don't know why I can't talk but you know let's go on with this so the first color is a lip gloss this is sugar plum now if you guys want to see a side-by-side -side comparison to uh, the lip gloss in the first collection because if you don't know she also had a lip gloss in the first launch of the Coco collection that I think was called Damn Gina okay so this right here is Damn Gina this is the lip gloss from the first uh, Coco collection this is the newest one this is uh, Sugar Plum so right off the bat I can tell um, I can tell I don't know if you guys can uh, See the difference, but uh, Damn Gina had a bit more, has a lot more sparkle in it, has a lot of glitter pigment in it. And here, let me show you guys a swatch. And this one is this one doesn't have um, that, mu that much glitter, like, I don't see any a lot of glitter reflection. Um, this is just like a kind of like a peachy, like a pink shimmer, kind of. So this one was Damn Gina, and this is Sugar Plum. So that's the difference. So I'll try, I'll try on just so you guys can see what it look, what both of the colors look like on me. I will try them on. Okay. So this is Sugar Plum. I'm going to put this on the bottom. I wish I had a hand mirror. So it's pigmented, but you can use like a few different like strokes, I guess. Okay. It's really light. And just for comparison's sake, um, we will use... Damn Gina, the first collection gloss on my top lip. You guys don't mind that like thinking like where is she looking? I'm looking in this direction because my mirror is here and it's a bit too far for me. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying so hard not to like, you know, do that, but um, okay, so the bottom is, 
from the new collection that is Sugar Plum. It's kind of like a little like pink. Um, I have a natural like purplish lights, you know, colored lips naturally. So this is what it looks like on my lips. And then this is the top one. As you guys can see, that's ochre. I'm sorry, that's damn Gina. So you can tell like this is lighter and this is more shinier and more like a darker colored pink. So let's take this off and move on to the next. I did put a little bit of concealer. Um, I'm using the NARS Creamy Custard, or it's called Custard. Um, just a little bit on my lips and I kind of, kind of go in with a little brush kind of to make my lips look more even, I guess. And I kind of use a beauty blender and just go like that real quick. So if you guys are wondering um, what are the meaning behind the names, I'll tell you guys also. So the color that I just tried was Sugar Plum. And Chloe on Twitter, she actually said Sugar Plum is, she said, MJ calls me this sweet name. So Sugar Plum is for MJ, I guess. She calls Chloe sweet Sugar Plum. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next up is the color Bunny. Um, let's open it up. Okay, right off the bat, um, let me do a swatch for you guys. Okay, it's a mauve color, like a standard mauve that like basically every, you know, every makeup company has from Tarte, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Kat Von D, they all have a mauve shade. Um, I see hints of, like, this is like a mauve pinkish type of color. Okay, let's swatch this. Um, let me tell you the meaning behind this color. So, Chloe said, Bunny. Um, she said, my mom has called me Bunny since I was born. My room was flooded with bunny decor as well. Alright, let's swatch. Ooh. Oh, I love this color. I love it. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of, yeah, it's like pinkish mauve. Um, I got it on my teeth. That's not cool. Ooh, I love, I love the shade. This reminds me of a, it's kind of slightly darker, but um, Kylie had a Valentine's Day collection and she had little mini um, liquid lipsticks. There was one, it's my favorite shade of all time, it is called um, High Maintenance. And it had like a pinky, like a mauve tone, it's similar to this, but a little like on a lighter pink side. And I used it up, and they I know Kylie sells um, some of those colors as singles. So it's I when I was trying to buy um, the Coco collection, the new one that just came out, I look I went and I looked to see if she had high maintenance, but it was sold out. So Kylie, send me one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But this color right here, Bunny, it is gorgeous. I love uh, the pinky mauve. It is a darker pinky mauve. I totally totally love it. This is. This is a shade that I like. All right. So this is dry. And you guys know I don't have to do like a you know a color test like you know for longevity because you guys know these lipsticks last a long time. So let's move on to the next. Okay, guys. Next shade is called Baby Girl, and Baby Girl is what Kylie calls. I'm sorry, what Chloe calls Kylie. So this is like a coral pink shade. Sorry, I couldn't swipe it, you know, swatch it a little neater, but this is like an orange. It reminds me of an orange kind of like an orange pink kind of mix a little bit coral. Uh, let's see what it looks like on me. This seems more watery than like the rest of them for some reason. Yeah. Let me see this other one that I had. Yeah, this one 
baby girl seems a bit on the watery side. It's super, super watery, but um, let's see. Oh yeah, it totally is watery because little, um, little flecks of it came off on my palette. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's swatch. So this is applying more creamy than the other one. Okay. So this is like pinky coral. Okay, so this right off the bat applied more liquidy than the other one. This is a bit kind of a creamier texture, I would say, but still matte. But the color came, it came out a little bit streaky in some areas. As you guys can see a little bit and I kind of don't want to layer it on because it's going to be a bitch just to take out but I'm loving the color cute color I like I like the coral pinkish let's move on to the next color all right the last shade is doll and oh my god can i tell you guys my lips hurt so bad from scrubbing this shit like look at this cotton around and i'm using my cellar water i'm using a little bit of some rubbing alcohol and that burns and oh my god i'm happy this is the last shade so this is called doll um this right off the bat looks a little bit orange really orange with like some red tone okay i found this on the web for both the little bit orange i don't know why surrey just came on so this is swatch as you guys can see this one was baby girl it was a bit corally and this one is doll so doll, the meaning behind doll is, um, doll is, she's basically saying, she basically says, um, it's the best term of endearment and you all are my dolls. Basically, like, her fans are her dolls. So, yeah, this, the consistency of this one also is really, really runny and wet compared to the rest of her shades. So let's uh, swatch away. All right. Oh shit, this is orange. Yeah, so same thing with, um, I think it was what, baby girl? The color that I tried before this. It's coming on watery. All right, guys, this is doll. As you guys can see, it's orange. So this would be like, I could think my least favorite shade of this, of all of them. Um, it has like some hints of red kind of, but it's mostly orange and I do not think I could rock orange lips. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah, so this has to be my least favorite one of all, but pretty much I, sh I can say um, I like the colors. They're pigmented, of course. Um, basically the same formula that, she, that she's always had, except um, some of the colors were a bit runnier than the others. I don't know why. Um, but basically, if you guys, um, they do come online. Um, they come back up on the website. Um, and you guys love the matte lipsticks. I would say go get them. These are really cool. And should what I say get the palette? Um, it's basically the same thing. Um, 
with the blushes and the highlighters that she's come out with. Um, it's nothing new. Um, I would I would kind of pass on the palette because it's nothing really new and you guys can find um, the same colors, the shades in other like, you know, like Tarte or Kat Von D or MAC or Anastasia Beverly Hill, you know, shades, you know, the new uh, Nicole Glow Kit has you know some highlighters unless you guys really want it for like you know a collector's item or something then I would say go ahead buy it but pretty much um, it's basically the same thing to be honest alright guys well this concludes um, my review for the new um, in love with Coco Coco collection part 2 the face palette and the four liquid lipsticks um, so pretty much you guys have um, my review. Those are my honest thoughts, kind of. Um, right now I have my favorite shade on. I, have, I really had to take off that orange shade. It was so ugly on me. I did not like it. I like orange nails, as you guys can see. But I don't like the orange lipstick on my face. So uh, the color that I'm wearing was the mauve pink one, Bunny. So this would be, Bunny would be a color that I would wear, like, maybe every day. Because the shade, I'm liking the shade. Um, it reminds me, like I said, of High Maintenance from the Kylie Valentine's Day collection. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please uh, click on the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, if you guys also got, you know, got the Coco collection. And let me know which shades you like. Um, what you think about the consistency and all that. Let me know in the comment section down below and uh, be sure to follow all my social medias. My Twitter, my Snapchat, my, uh, my Instagram. It will be linked down below and you will see little notifications right up here, here or here, wherever they pop up. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! With the cocoa